Here we go, boys. We hooked up on the first one out here on the Chucky today. Appears to be a nice smallmouth bass. We're throwing some live shiners out here. Probably the next best thing to Helgermite to catch big fish in the Noah Chucky. And that is definitely one of the bigger bass on the Chucky. There you go guys, first one of the day, got a nice small mouth. Really surprised he actually ate the, as big of a shiner as I had on there, but awesome start to the day. We're gonna catch some more shiners, hopefully catch some more fish. Here's the first fluke fish of the day, as the dogs keep barking. Not the biggest, but I'm happy with it. Here's the rig I'm throwing. It's just a uh, Zoom smoking Shad fluke style bait. It's not exactly a fluke, but it's a fluke style bait on like a eighth ounce swim bait hook. Just making a cast at an angle. Bringing it back a couple of feet off the bank, and that's when they always hit it. There's one. Another little guy. I'm definitely not complaining, though. It's been a while since I've been able to get on some artificial lure fish, especially on the channel. There's another one. Feels like a better, yeah, a better fish, way better fish. This is a nice one. It's hung up on something. Ah, you come off. God, that was a way better fish. That was probably a little bit smaller than the first one I caught on the shiner. That sucks. Just gotta keep trying, I guess. I did it again. There's one. What is this? It's so small. Oh, of course. Little rock bass. This guy actually hit it like three times on the way in. I thought it was, I figured it was a little rock bass, honestly. He just couldn't get the lure in his mouth. Made a little lure change here. I'm throwing this little red crankbait now. The fluke bot just, it just stopped. Like I was getting bots every other cast there for a while, but it just kind of quit. So, I've been trying a lot of different things, tried the pop bar, the wacky rig, but uh, this is the first thing that's produced anything for me, so I guess I'll throw this around for a while. There's one, better fish, better fish. I'm gonna try and keep this one down. Dang, dude, again. Ah, That's irritating, man. That's the second good fish I've had come off today. There goes my red crankbait. I just hit a freaking stick and it broke and there it is in the god dang middle of the river. All right, I just went on a mission to save this thing. Flipped a sinker and a hook on here, out there for like 10 minutes and finally hooked onto one of the back hooks and was able to reel it in. So now back to uh, backlashing, breaking off lures and losing big fish as my trips usually go. There's a fish. Not as good as the last ones that I've lost, but it's a fish. Okay, well he got away, but, and that was in poison ivy, I'm not touching it, but. Lost the red crankbait, so now I have to use this one, and I mean, I'm not mad, it caught a fish, so. Maybe this will work better than the red crankbait. That was my first cast with this one, so. Good fish. Good fish. Please stay on. Well, it's not huge, but it's definitely a better fish. I stand corrected. <laughs> I very much stand corrected. 
they always say foul hook feels bigger, and I don't doubt that at all anymore. Little guy felt like a chunker. At least I'm catching fish again, man. It's been like 45 minutes since my last good bite. Caught them on a fluke and the red crankbait in this one, but I lost the red one. Oh, that was smart.